Welcome to the first user request episode. In this series, we will try to answer your questions regarding filmmaking as good as possible. We will pick one question every week and talk about solution and different options. This week, it's about post-production. Daniel Music 111 asks, do you have to compress your videos before importing them into an editing software? If yes, what software can I use to compress my footage? I chose this question because I think it's a really important step in post-production that a lot of people don't know about. Especially when you don't have a good computer in terms of hardware, but you want a fast and smooth edit, you need to compress your video clips. Compressing footage means rendering all your clips into another format or resolution. This may take some time, but it's definitely worth it. The professional word for that process is proxy. I am going to show you now how such a workflow can look like. I have recorded my videos in full HD, but my computer won't play them back in real time, so I have to get smaller files and I also don't need the high resolution to edit. To convert my clips, I am using the free encoder software called FreeMake Video Converter. But you can also use any other software that lets you convert videos. Make sure to use another resolution just like you see right here, and also a lower bitrate. After you converted the files, make sure to choose the right project settings in your editing software. My original clips were shot with a DSLR, so I need to choose such a preset in Premiere Pro or whatever software you are using. Now import the files and edit your film. You will see that the workflow within the software is much better and you don't have to wait long for things to render. Once you are finished, it's time for replacing the proxies with the original HD clips. In Premiere Pro, you can replace the files easily. The great thing about that option is that effects, transitions and color correction will also apply to the replaced files. This should be possible with almost every software. That's it pretty much, there is no magic trick. You just have to replace the low resolution files with the original ones and then you can export your video in the highest quality. If you have a question that needs to be answered, post it under this video or on our website. In the next episode, I will be talking about rendering and exporting videos in different formats so you can get the best out of your video. Thank you.